it's Randy for Thunder Horse Descendant. I am here today with another BB Craft um, tutorial using their Z beads. I'm, I'm going to make a stack today of stretchy bracelets. I'm super excited. So we have those and um, a few other little things. So super excited. Going to make some men's size stretch bracelets today using a long cord and um, a beading needle, uh, an elonga needle. If you've never seen that, it's very interesting. So let's get on into the project. All right, you guys, here we are down on the mat. And the plan today is to utilize the Z beads from um, BB Craft. Now, I had another, I had another, a green strand, but I've already used it in a previous project. So, uh, and I'm going to make some men's sizes. So, now on here, I do have this which for all intents and purposes is eight inches. So I might have to use that. We shall see how it goes. Um, we're going to be using Elonga stretch cord today. And I'm going to be using a needle from Beetle On. And I'm also gonna to try to sprinkle some of these little eyes in because I wanna use some of these very large lava rocks as well. And I will get those out and we will get this party started. Here are the little eyes um, that I thought would be quite fitting for this project. Uh, we're probably going to use some of the, the black ones in this first bracelet. Um, I'm, I've chosen this, uh, this strand for the first project and there's our large lava rock. So um, these are very cute. They are from BB Craft. They are double sided which is why I like them. And uh, they have a whole array of little colors. They're like $5 on the website. So I just thought, oh, those will go perfect with our Z bead treated evil eye beads to ward off evil and bring protection. So here we go. I'm just going to snip into this and we'll just get right to it. I don't know if you guys saw my last video I made with the BB Craft beads, but I was quite smitten with the necklace I had made. I will link it here in, in the cards of this video, so if you guys want to take a look at that where I used one of these strands, very good. I really like it a lot. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do is we are going to get our Alonga. Now this uh, is 0 0.70 millimeter, okay? And I'm going to get, let's see, about a half a wingspan or so of this cording. And that might, that's excessive, but you'll see why once we get to the end. Um, because we're going to double it up. And I want to make sure that we have enough of this to go around. So now... They say you do not have to pre-stretch a longa, and I just am a stretcher because I just, that's just, it's just how I am. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, we're going to fold this in half, and we are going to get our pattern going here on the board. So, I'm actually going to put these in the board. I don't usually use a bead board. Um... Quite honestly, I don't know. I've maybe used one a few times. I'm not sure. So what I want to do here is I want to put my large lava rock. Then I'm going to put my two evil eyes on the side. And I know you're like, oh, they're so little. I'm going to put one stone bead of the, of the Z beads. And then these little eyes, which I think are going to be super cute. And then we're just going to work our way out putting them like so until we get to eight inches. Now I've chosen eight inches because it's my understanding that that's a pretty average size. Um, 
And this is going to be a stretch bracelet, so, you know, we'll see. See how it goes. Okay. I think... So, now what we're going to do is we're going to jump in here. We're going to get this long needle. Now, this is supposed to be 10 inches, which it looks like it is. And these are for actually from Beetle On. So, you can get these on the Beetle On website. And I always use these when I do my stretch cord. So, now that we got it the way we want it, I can just load it up like this. I don't have to start in the middle and do halfsies on the whatever. I can just load it on up. So I am going to do that. These uh, ZBs actually have a pretty big hole and I think you could get away with hiding and not using the jade on there. To be determined, I guess. I also really like the lava rock because you can use that for your essential oils if you want to. These larger ones that I'm using um, come from Taylor's Falls Bead Store and they're super good. Um, you, you can also get them on, uh, are you going to fit on there? Oh yeah. You can also get them on my website. I sell them separately for a dollar a piece. So I will leave a link to that in the description. But you guys, I got a feeling these are going to be super fun. I've really enjoyed these beads. And uh, I've done two videos now with them with these these Z beads and as I've said in each video it breaks down to be about five dollars a strand for a 15 inch strand which is in my opinion a good deal so FYI I will leave all of BB crafts business down there in the description box so now that I have this loaded onto my needle um, I'm in debate about this but we'll we'll see how where we're sitting once we get to that portion I'm gonna get my uh, GS hypo cement mine has a little boo-boo on it don't worry about that it's fine it's glued itself shut so now what we do I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see we're gonna right here on this loop okay you're gonna make sure your tails are are uh, even at the end We've already pre-stretched, which they say you don't need to do, but we're doing it because we're crazy. And then <laughs> you're just going to take that loop and put it inside, almost like a crochet hook, into this needle. You're going to make gravity your friend, tip this down, and you're just going to let those beads just slide onto the string. Okay. You may have to do a little twist in, a little turn in. Don't pull too hard. Um, you don't want to injure your longa cord, but we're just going to bring that down like that and then take it off. Okay. We're now done with that needle. And now we're going to assess. Do we want to use this jade bead? I don't think we do. I don't like it so much. So now I'm going to take that off. I need to then put on another bead because I I've taken one bead off. So let me get another bead. Okay. And I'm just going to put this one on there. Easy peasy switch out to see how easy this is. Uh-huh. Alrighty. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to let those beads kind of get situated here on this string because they got to make friends with the string. Let me zoom you out. Got to make friends with the string. 
that you're going to use them on. So I'm kind of stretching and pulling them down, just kind of letting gravity do its business and getting them all used to one another. Now, after I've done that, I am going to take, I'm going to zoom in to see you can see the knot, okay, the knot portion. So here you can see we have a loop. We're going to take one strand, one side of this Ylonga cord, and we're going to put that through the loop, okay? Once you've got one side, you're going to then bring the tails back together, and you're just going to work them, work the beads down until they get taut, okay? So this is what you should have. And once you have that, you don't need it super tight or anything. You just need it, you know, to be coming together. Now we're going to do a surgeon's knot. So I'm going to, I'm going to go around like that. I'm going to, like I'm tying a knot in my shoe, right? And I'm going to go one, and then I'm going to go again. Two, okay? And I'm going to pull this down. Then I'm going to switch to the other side. And I'm going to go again. One, two, and then I'm going to pull it down. Okay. At this point, I'm going to take where I've tied the knot and I'm going to kind of pull it apart because that's what's going to lock that knot in is when you pull it the opposite direction. You don't have to Hercules it or anything. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hypo cement. I'm going to hit this knot with just a little smidge, a smidge now, of glue. And I'm going to try to hold this, get this on there, so I don't have a problem. All the walls not allowing this to touch the beat. <laughs> okay. So then once we've got that going on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to cut. Now I am going to leave a couple millimeters here for just in case something happens. So I'm going to go ahead and snip. You can see I've got a couple millimeters there. I'm going to disregard all of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bead and I'm going to push it over the top of the knot. Okay. Swivel it around a little bit. Make sure it's in there. And there we go. I have now successfully hid the string. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm not gonna stretch it out while it's wet. I'm gonna let it dry. We're gonna move on to the next one. But this is what it looks like. Let's see. So we've got we've got seven and a half at rest. Okay. So what that tells me is that's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's a stretchy bracelet, so it's gonna be fine. But that tells me that in our next one, we're going to make an additional half an inch to make sure that they're eight inches. Okay. So this is, this is just sizing, especially with the stretch bracelet, it can be quite, you know, it can be stuff going on. So we'll try again. We're going to put this one to the side, but I really like it. I like the way that it turned out. And we're going to go again because why not? Okay, so that is our size that we had originally. Now to get the additional, um, to get the ad additional half an inch, 
Um, hmm, I wonder. I just wonder about this. Since I got those orange in there, if I could just go, if I could use those. I don't know if the holes on these is going to be big enough, but we're going to try it. All right, so again, we will put our little hook onto the Inlonga cord and we will bring it down and we will let gravity be our friend. Sometimes it's going to give a little help, but not too much help because you don't want to force this along cord to do stuff it doesn't want to do. So otherwise you're going to end up with frayed cording and that's not good. Mm-hmm. Okay, again for our knot situation, one goes into the loop, bring both together, and scooch beads accordingly, tightening up until beads are where they're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And surgeon's knot, tying one and two. Okay, and then one and two. Okay, and pull it apart to lock it into place. Come in with the hypo cement. Get that knot in there. I got a little hypo cement on my finger. I can feel it. <laughs> Try not to touch the beads. If you touch the beads, you're going to have a problem. Okay. I think I'm good now. And this is a slightly excessive with the glue on that side, but it's okay. Uh, so here's what she looks like. right at eight so that's what we're looking for right at eight so what do we got on there we have the lava rock and then we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three eight millimeter rounds the large lava rock which i know for a fact is 25 25 centimeters so it's one inch 
And then these little guys, which are about oh, a four, a four millimeter. So <clears throat> that's what we got. Pretty snazzy. I'm going to continue to do some more videos and I will, uh, I'll get you a little video of these in the end. Okay. But yeah. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching this. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section. You can always email me, which is also in the description of this video. So, um, again, these Z beads and the little eyes and these little um, dyed malachite beads, they all came from BB Craft. I will link all of their business in the description as well. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.